السلام علیکم فرینڈس مائی نیم از عفیفہ فرام بی ایس بایولوجی کا سائنس کے تھرڈ سیمسٹر اسٹارٹ ود دا نیم آف اللہ ہو از موسٹ مرسیفل اینڈ بینیفیشنٹ ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ایولیوشن آف ڈرائی فائٹس فسٹ آف آل ہوئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ انٹروڈکشن آف ڈرائی فائٹس ڈرائی فائٹس آر اسمال نان ویسکولر لینڈ پلانٹس دیٹ لیو ان واٹر فار دیئر ریپروڈکشن ڈرائی فائٹ از اے گریک ورڈ دیٹ مینس اے پلانٹ دیٹ سیلف آن ہائیڈریشن Now we will discuss about origin of bryophytes. Bryophytes are quite soft and delicate, therefore they do not have fossil records. All the views based on following three heads. Number one, evidence from the comparative morphology of the living plants. Comparative morphology is the locus of structure of organisms. Second one is evidence from ontogeny of living plants. Ontogeny means development of history of an organism. Evidence based on analogies with the living plants of other groups. Analogies is the process of transferring information from one organism to another organism. Bryologists divided bryophytes into two schools of thoughts. First school of thought is pteridophytian hypothesis, while the second one is algal hypothesis. Now we will discuss one by one. First of all, we discuss pteridophytian hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, bryophytes has been descended from pteridophytes by means of reduction. They formulated their argument on the basis of following two features. Close similarity between the sex organs of two groups and the second one is resemblance between sporangium of anthocerus sphagnum and terminal sporangium of fossil pteridophytes. These are the anthocerus and sphagnum diagram. This theory is strongly supported by two scientists. The Lang, Lang supported this theory in 1917 and Kidstone also supported this theory in the same year. In 1923, Scott supported this theory and Haskell gave his views uh, um, in accordance with this theory in 1949 and Kashev supported this theory in 1919. Now, we will discuss about affinities of pteridophytian hypothesis. The number one is similarity of their pigments. Second one is structure of cell wall, then food reserve material and their reproductive methods. And last one is their life cycle. In 1911, Scott introduced the idea of evolution of bryophytes. He introduced that the bryophytes are, are evoluted from algae on the presence of chlorophyll and plastids in the sporangium of mosses and anthocerus and the presence of stromata on the sporangium of anthocerus and the apophasis region of capsule of moss. Here is the sporangium of moss and sporangium of anthocerus. Kashif in 1919 proposed that equisettles divided into three classes. The first one is Martian tail and second one is Zugermanial while the third one is anthocerus tail. In 1949, Haskell gave his view about the origin of bryophytes. He said that he, uh, uh, bryophytes are originated from algae through the coelophytales by simplification. According to him, algal hypothesis is as follows. He, he said that bryophytes are similar with algae. According to him, the amphibian nature of bryophyte and algae was similar. Their sperm, sperms have flagella due to which they can free in, they can float in water. Presence of free water at the time of fertilization and alga like protein. In 1908, Bower showed resemblance of bryophytes with green algae. According to him, photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotene, lutein, and xanthinin are present in both of them. Starch is food reserve material of both algae and bryophytes, and fil- filamentous protonema in the juvenile stage is also present. Juvenile stage is a stage in which an organism has not yet reached its adult form and during this stage, the transformation of the organism sometimes called as sub-adult. Many species on reaching this stage are fully mature and their development and growth stops. In 1916, Fittish gives his view that is based on comparative study of various algal groups. According to him, algae have gradual conduction of conductive tissues in aerial plants. 
on the other hand bryophytes do not have conductive tissues because bryophytes are non vascular terrestrial land plants of moist habitats in which a multicellular diploid sporophyte lives as a parasite on an independent multicellular haploid gametophyte on earth pteridophytes are the first terrestrial plants to possess conducting tissues next one is their heterotrichous habitat heterotrichous habit is a is present in green algae and it means producing two types of branches the first one is prostrate branch while the second one is erect branch the third one is parenchymatic structure of erect filaments next we will discuss about smith's views about the origin of bryophytes smith gave his view in 1955 according to him bryophytes have originated from chlorophyce primitive form established in area having plenty of water and gradual changes from aquatic to terrestrial this led to the establishment of more massive plant body and abundance of moisture as per smith fistula a member of the ketophoreas may be probable near to the primitive ancestor of bryophytes the supporters of this theory believe that a sex organ of bryophytes has been evolved from the ectocarpus algae There are two theories according to the regarding the evolution of bryophytes the first theory is upgrade or progressive theory while the second one is downgrade or regressive theory progressive evolution theory means a theory in which an organism starts from simple one and it converts into complex one now in 1910 carvers and in 1940 campbell in and in 1955 smith supported this theory this theory reveals that the first evolved bryophytes was the parodicia A, a hypothetical type which combined the present genus Sphaerocarpus and Ka- Cavers in 1910 proposed a progressive theory and showed a phylogenetic line of evolution in bryophytes. Regressive or downgrade theory: the primitive bryophytes were mass-like in appearance. This view has been supported by Watson in 1908, Kashif in 1919, Prosker in 1960, Zimmerman in 1966, and Mehra in 1957. Here the diagram of phylogenetic lineage. It is a phylogeny of bryophytes which was given by Mehra in 1957. Nowadays bryophytes are classified into three subclasses the first one is hepaticopsida second one is anthocyropsida and third one is bryopsida hepaticopsida has 330 genera and 8000 species anthocyropsida have 700 seven genera and a single order while bryopsida have 700 genera and 14000 species distribution of some common bryophytes in northeast india in arunachal pradesh Cytothodium carvanarum and Phaeocerus levis are present while in Assam Polytrichum piliferum and Bryum capillariae are present in Manipur Philonotis fontana and Philonotis hastata while in Meghalaya Bryanthemum bochanae and Targinoi hypophylla are present Mirozam and Nagaland also have some species of bryophytes some classes of bryophytes That's for today. Thanks for listening me. Allah Hafiz.